Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, it's been a pretty nice summer day across the area so far. Most of us managed to dodge the bulk of the showers across the area. Unless you were up on the north side of Cincinnati, you picked up a little bit of rain this afternoon. All right, here's a live look at the stadium tonight, and it looks like, you know what? Temperatures are going to be creeping their way up in the days ahead. But that's not terribly bad. At least it won't be tomorrow. Outside here tonight, you can see most areas across the Ohio Valley still hovering within a couple of degrees on either side of 80 right now. Officially here in Cincinnati, we're at 78 degrees. So first things first, first things tomorrow morning. Let's get your forecast going. It should be a nice start. The only concern tomorrow morning, maybe some areas of fog, especially in those areas that picked up a few showers north of town. Otherwise, should be a fairly nice start in the low 70s. And then it looks like as we go towards lunchtime tomorrow, warm Warm sunshine and will quickly climb into the mid 80s. But notice I have slightly less humid out there a smidge. It's going to be just a little bit more comfortable tomorrow afternoon, despite the fact temperatures will actually be hotter than they were today as we climb up close to 90. Then expect a warm evening dry for most of us, but similar to what we saw today. I can't rule out just given the fact we have the heat and humidity around maybe a pop up shower, a stray shower. But again, most of us should remain rain free. 78 right now at the airport winds are calm and that's part of the reason why with humidity still relatively high that we could see some patchy areas of fog tonight. We've got this boundary in place today. We were fortunate because it dropped south of the Ohio River and that has allowed some ever so subtly drier air to sneak into the region. Not a lot, but at least a little bit. And at this point, every little bit helps out. But with this stationary boundary in our vicinity, that's why I say tomorrow I can't rule out a stray shower or two. I want to switch gears though here briefly. Take us down into the tropics into the Western Caribbean because you know what? We are beginning to approach the peak of hurricane season, at least as we now move through the month of of October for the Atlantic season anyway, and here we have tropical storm Earl tonight winds of 60 miles an hour. The latest forecast actually now takes us up to a category one hurricane with sustained winds of 75 miles an hour before it plows into Belize right now. It looks like it will miss Cancun, most of the Yucatan Peninsula. The good news is that this system doesn't have a lot of water before it reaches land, so it can only intensify so much. Here's a look at the forecast closer to home tonight. So it's patchy fog to start out. Sunshine burns into the afternoon. Should be a warm one. There may be one or two stray showers out there. Anything that develops will go away about 7, 730 like it did this evening. And then as we get into Thursday, humidity is going to creep back up. And along with the heat, I think there's a little bit of better shot at seeing a better coverage of scattered or should I say a few of those showers and storms. But the best chance still comes in here on Friday when I think everyone will see rain as a cool front drops in. So 71 for a low tonight underneath mostly clear skies. Again, patchy fog in a few areas tomorrow. Hot sunshine, but a little less humid out there. That will make 90 not comfortable, but tolerable. Here's a look at your day planner. 72 at 8 a.m. By lunchtime, we're in the mid 80s and then closing in on close to 90 for the afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast. Temperatures keep creeping up through the 90s. Friday looks like it will be the hottest day. Friday actually looks quite uncomfortable before we get relief from showers and storms Friday evening. But look at the weekend. If everything times out, we've had some breaks from the heat. Fortunately, it looks like we may get in on a break from the humidity too. All right, Kevin, thank you.